Testing, testing. Testing, testing. All right, we're live. We're good. Sound is good. Thank y'all for joining us. This is Pilla Academy uh, versus Delta Streets uh, conference game. We got started a little bit early, so I uh, apologize. Y'all are, uh, we're a few minutes into the game already. Score is still zero to zero. Suresh Chala will be joining us in just a moment. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, correction. Pilla Academy has scored one. So we are one to zero, Pillow Academy. I was just informed, uh, Wells Wilson scored the goal. For those who don't know, uh, this is a much anticipated game uh, between these two teams. Expected to be uh, very competitive. Uh, a lot of these guys play with each other outside of uh, their respective schools in their um, leagues. I don't have the exact stats right at this moment, but uh, they are coming, so give me just a few minutes. I can give you an update on uh, conference stats for Pillow Academy. And just so y'all are aware as well, um, we are stationed on the side with all of the spectators. So a lot of the drums and, and noises you hear are from them, which is exciting. It's uh, great to be excited about, about being out here and supporting these boys.
All right, welcome to the broadcast here at Mississippi Valley State. Lawson Harvey with a shot. Yes. He scores. What timing. Tell you what, uh, I show up and Lawson scores. A spectacular shot from the left side, beating the Delta Streets goalie who had no chance to stop that. Spectacular shot by Lawson Harvey. And just like that, Pillow Academy in this key Division II matchup takes a 1-0 lead. I have no idea how that was set up, but I'll, uh, I'll take all the credit, y'all. Uh, Lawson Harvey with his 20-something goal of the year from the left side. Scores and makes it 1-0. Lawson is the only player on the field that played the last time Pillow Academy played on this field. The last time Pillow played on this field was five years ago when they played a state semifinal game versus Hartfield Academy. Uh, lost in battling way there. Hart, uh, Pillow Academy won that game, won nothing. Lawson, I believe, was an eighth grader or was he a seventh grader? I'm not sure. And Pillow Academy won that game, won nothing on a goal by Eli Burton, a name from the past here. Do we have a roster? Got to find the roster real quickly. So, uh, Pillow Academy, key Division II matchup. Kill Pill Academy on top is Hernandez gets the ball. And that's Hunter Berry with the ball over to Hernandez. Let's see through to Simone, but it's going to be intercepted by uh, Delta Streets. What number is Vargas, by the way? Uh, let me see for Delta Streets. Ten. Right there, he's playing center back, kind of midfield. Center back midfielder is going to be Daniel Vargas. As Hunter Berry gets the ball, going over the middle, it's going to be cleared by no, cleared by nobody as Harvey tries to go to it. And it's going to be uh, kicked out of bounds by, by Delta Streets. And it's going to be Pillow Academy ball. Quick throw in over to Hernandez. Hernandez surveys the field, looks over. Nice move by Hernandez. He slips. The field's kind of, kind of muddy here. Ball cleared up the field. Simone's there in the middle. It's going to be intercepted. There's Vargas. Danny Vargas has some green. Clears the ball up the field. Vargas led the United States of America in goals last year in high school soccer, but he's playing a center back position this year, sacrificing his offense to try to, try to offset the uh, Lawson-Harvey attack. Not only Lawson, but Wells Wilson, Seraph and Simone, some of the others, Hunter Berry and some of the others over there are quite good as... It looks like Delta Streets has its corner kick. Is this the first corner kick for them? Y'all, I was late. I ran out of gas on the way back from Greenville as Delta Streets clears the ball to the middle. Oh, looked like number six for Delta Streets. Tried to take a shot, but it got stopped. There's Wells Wilson's with the ball. Trying to clear it over. Lawson Harvey. Lawson Harvey. Oh, Lawson just basically uh, slipped up there. Otherwise, he had a break. Gets the ball over to Ruben. Ruben trying to get the ball over to Wells. What little I've seen so far, some good ball control by Pilla as Vargas goes a little tweener there on Wells. Ooh, Vargas knocked down by Simone. Little Red Bulls uh, confrontation there between uh, Seraph and Simone and Daniel Vargas. Vargas will file that one away for later. Vargas off of Simone. Boy, he popped him right in the head. Uh, the ball goes over to Martinez. Martinez trying to get the ball over to Harvey. Harvey having a little shoves with a couple of <laughs> number 13 and 3. Not surprised to see Harvey having some physical action there as he loves it. He feeds off of it. And it's going to be ball control by Vargas. Vargas up the field. Well, I'd love to see Vargas and Harvey together. Uh, there's two of the best players in the state of Mississippi. Here comes number 19 for Delta Streets going over the middle. Gets the ball over to another player. Number 19 has the ball in the middle. Over to 25, but it's going to be cleared out by William Brown. And the ball will be controlled by, I can't see. I've kind of, kind of cut off here in this angle. It's going to be Delta Streets with the throw in. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Are we able to zoom in a little bit? Some people are texting, maybe saying to zoom in. Can you get the corner too? Uh, Del Streets with the cross over the middle. Yeah, let's get closer. We can get the whole field.
Ball going over to Harvey. But it's going to be intercepted by number three. Three and 13 for Delta Streets are really cleaning up that middle, keeping an eye on Harvey. It's going to be a tough matchup for them as Harvey is just a speedster with great physical play and great speed and great knack for the ball. We are fortunate to be in the Mississippi Valley State press box over here. We have a warmer. It's nice and snug. Reuben gets the ball over. Simone over to Hunter Berry. Hunter Berry from the outside takes a shot. It's going to be over the goal. And it's going to be a goal kick. Has the clock gone off? Uh, I don't yeah, it's not working. The clock's on off, so we're not sure how much time's left. I think we started around 257. It actually was about 10 till. 10 till, so we started really early over here. Boy, I, I was late. The refs were here and they were ready to go. Kevin Hernandez kicks the ball out. I'm going to need a roster for Pillow, too, if you don't mind. You do? you, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'd like to have more for Pillow than Delta Streets, if you don't mind. Kim Shackelford up here helping me out. Boy, I, Kim, <laughs> where have you been all my life? All these years I did soccer on my own. I had Don Brock over here, but he was no, he was no help. Vargas with a throw in. The ball's going to be intercepted by Harvey. Sends it back to William Brown. Trying to control it. Oh, that's not William. That's uh, I always get William and Landon mixed up. They need to get their haircuts changed. <laughs> ball goes over to Wells. Trying to get the ball over to Lawson. And there's Vargas controlling it. Back to the keeper. Boy, the matchup between Lawson, Harvey, and Daniel Vargas is a uh, it's worth the price of admission. Martinez with the ball. Surveys the field over to Hernandez. Hernandez over the middle. He's going to take a shot from the outside. It's going to have a little bit of a, uh, it's going to be a little wide. It's going to be pillow cabby ball. So for y'all, all those of y'all that are just joining us, we're about 20 minutes in. Lawson Harvey with a spectacular shot from the left side, giving pillow Academy a 1-0 lead in a key Division II matchup. From what I understand, Vargas has the ball. From what I, perfect, thank you. From what I understand, both teams are in the West Division of the Division II North Conference. So, do we not play uh, St. Aloysius out of Vicksburg twice this year? I think that Delta Streets moved up, and St. Al is no longer in our division. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. Delta Streets with the ball, surveying the field. So Pill Academy right now is on top of the division. Now, they are technically tied win-loss-wise with Washington School. However, goal differential, if they come to a tie break, Pill Academy with a 4 nothing win at the Washington School, and Washington beat Pill 2-1, so we have them on the tiebreaker. Now, if there's a three-way tie, I don't know how it works. Pill just needs to take care of business and win the rest of their games. Hill Academy comes into the uh, this thing with a 13 and 4 record, I believe. As as Hernandez is knocked down, it's going to be Pill Academy ball. I believe Delta Streets lost earlier this year to the Washington School. This is a powerful Delta Streets team as Hernandez kicks the ball to the box. Simone misses it. Wilson there, but it's going to be cleared out by number 13. Simone with a nice play. It's a fast-paced contest on this muddy field here at Mississippi Valley State. We want to thank Mississippi Valley State for hosting this game. Simone takes a shot from the outside. It's going to be cleared. Uh, the goalie's going to go ahead and pick that one up. The keeper for Delta Streets kicks the ball up the field. one nothing's a score and a loss in Harvey goal. Nice play. By William Brown, and it's going to be cleared up. Here's Hunter Berry. Over to Reuben. Reuben with the ball. Oh, it gets intercepted. Big mistake by Reuben there as the ball goes up the field. Delta Streets controls it. Oh, nice play. Oh, it was a nice attempt by number 18, Wesley Griswold. Balls can go up the field. Look at the speed. Look at the speed by Delta Streets. They try to cross it over the middle. Nice play as uh, the Delta Streets player goes down. He stays down. Number five with the ball, trying to clear it over to the outside. 
goes over the top. Delta Street's number 14 with the ball. Can't tell who that is. Here's Harvey with the ball. Anytime Harvey has the ball, watch what he can do with it. Nice pass over to Simone. To the outside trying to lead Wilson, but it's not there. And they're going to kick the ball off the field. As they try to get it over to 25, here's Serafin Simone with possession. Serafin on the outside, gets the ball over Lawson. Lawson back to Ruben. Ruben gets the ball over to Hernandez. Great pass. Oh, the ball's taken away by Vargas. Look at the speed contest between Vargas and uh, Hernandez. Delta Street's with possession. Here comes Vargas over the middle. Vargas trying to get the ball over to, to his teammate. As they're going to get back, here's Simone with the ball. Gets the ball over to Wells Wilson, takes a shot from the outside, a little too high and a little too wide. And it's going to be goal kick. Kim, steady, fast action here. I'll tell you what, this is an electrifying action. We've got the drums going, we've got the trumpets going. Delta Street showed up with their, uh, with their band. <laughs> their rattlers and their band, Kim. Hey, I'll be joined at halftime, by the way, Kim. I'm going to be joined by Lawson, I mean, uh, by uh, Jason Harvey, former coach at Pill Academy. Do we have a second headset here? We have a second headset. Now, keep in mind, Kim, when, we, when I do the interviews, it's all about getting the camera on me. Forget about Lawson. Forget about Jason. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, we're doing good with no tripod today. No tripod? How, how did that happen? Well, we're, you can't really use it with this uh, view here. I see. Can't use the tripod, so... Old school here as number 17 for, for uh, oh, number 17 slips on this muddy field here. Lawson Harvey with the ball. Here is Landon Shackelford over to Seraphim Simone. Seraphim Simone trying to get the ball, tried to lead Lawson Harvey, but it was a little too much. I love the ball movement by Pill Academy. I was really impressed in their 4 nothing victory over Bio Academy with their ball movement. Coach Simone's really got this team clicking on all cylinders. I saw them play an alumni game where they destroyed the alumni team 7-3, to and I said to myself, this is one of the best Pilla teams I've seen since the 2017 state championship team. Good communication, good teamwork. Coach Simone really pushing the ball. As the ball goes back to our keeper. Mize has the ball, gets it up the field, over to Landon Shackelford, tries to get the ball over to Hunter Berry, the speedster. Oh, Hunter gives it up to number 18. As they try to go through, good play by Shackelford, forcing the ball out of bounds, and it'll be Pill Academy ball. Is the camera, do you have the ball on the camera from there? Can you get it? I think it's on there. It's tough, that angle, absolutely. Four for Delta Streets, gets the ball, kicks it out of bounds. It's going to be Pill Academy ball. The Mustangs will be back in action next Monday, I believe, when they host Delta Streets on a much better field than this field. Uh, this field's really kind of torn up, really muddy. Again, a good field here at Mississippi Valley State, but it's got – it's – it makes me appreciate the Pillow Academy feel a lot more and the good, solid work that was done a couple of years ago. Nice pass by Simone, getting trying to get the ball over to Wells Wilson. There's trying to get the ball over to uh, Lawson Harvey. Great play by Vargas, forcing the turnover, from forcing the corner kick. I want to kind of watch this and see if Vargas is man mar marking Lawson Harvey. That'll be interesting to kind of watch. This will be the second corner kick that I've witnessed. Pill Academy is up 1-0 on a Lawson Harvey goal from the left side early in the contest. Kevin Hernandez with the corner to the box. Oh, it went over through everybody, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll be a Delta Streets throw in. Pill Academy, I believe, has lost one game in Division Two in, on the, in the West Division to the Washington School, and a huge upset, 2-1. to one. Uh, When I say huge upset, I'll tell you what, Jeffrey Jacelli and the uh, coach the coach over there at Washington School has done an excellent job and has, has really developed that program well. Lawson Harvey from the outside gets the ball, trying to get it over to Hernandez. Vargas with the ball, trying to get it through. 
Look at the talent of Vargas and the footwork. Vargas with a, with a heel pass, but Hernandez intercepts it. And the ball is over the middle. There's Simone. By the way, is the score one nothing or two nothing? It's one nothing. Cindy, I got a. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, gotcha. By the way, Monday is at Bio. I I I uh, apologize about that. And then next Thursday is Senior Night. Is going to be Senior Night. We expect a huge turnout for Pill Academy. Monday's at Bio. Thursday is Senior Night, Delta Streets. I got to double check on the score. I came late. I want to make sure about that. Kim has left. Where's Kim, by the way? Where'd you go, y'all? Okay. Goal kick. Hold on one second. Hey, y'all, what's the score? 2-0? How do you like this? All this time I've been saying the score is one nothing. Cindy Sai, good old Cindy, has corrected me. Wells Wilson scored a goal early that I missed completely, and it's actually 2 nothing. Pill Academy, and I apologize about that. Wells Wilson with, Wilson with the first goal, Lawson Harvey with the second, Lawson leading the ball over to Seraphin Simone. It's 2 nothing, folks, Pill Academy on goals by Wells Wilson and Lawson Harvey. The scoreboard's not working, so I didn't see that. I have no idea how Wells scored, but I'll find out later. Jason Harvey will be joining us at halftime. I'll get the whole 4-1-1 from him. Ball goes up the field. Here's Delta Streets getting the ball over to 22. 22 gets the ball. It's going to be taken away by William Brown. Over to Griswold. Griswold gets the ball over to Martinez. Martinez over to Wilson. Turn over there. Comes Delta Streets. Thanks a lot, Cindy, by the way. I apologize about that. Again, I was late for the game. For the 100th time in my life, I ran out of gas. Somewhere between Indianola and uh, Greenwood. And some good Samaritan took me over to the double quick over in Indianola, and I got gas, and I got back over here. So, anyways. Oh, bad throw in by Delta Streets. It's going to be Wells Wilson, Wilson with the throw in. Gets the ball over Lawson Harvey. Lawson just kicks it out of bounds. It's going to be throw in by Delta Streets. Delta Streets, uh, I'm not sure how they've done against Bio, but I know they've lost at least once to uh, the Washington School. Uh, it's a shame that only two teams from our division will make it to the playoffs because this Delta Streets team is a fine team, and so is that Washington School team, and so is Pillow Academy, but that's the way things work. Ball goes up the field. It's going to be Delta Streets crossing the ball over the top. Here comes Danny Vargas. Let's see what Vargas can do with it. More of a setup guy today. A defender gets the ball up the field over to 19. Ruben gets the ball back for Pilla. Over to Hernandez. Hernandez over the top. Over to Harvey. Harvey can launch it. Launches it over the top. Over to Wills. The ball is going to go out of bounds. Good play by the keeper for Delta Streets. It is a cold one here in Itabina, Mississippi. It's freezing cold out here. Thank goodness we're in the press box, but even then the uh, windows are open. It's cold. As the keeper for Delta Streets clears the ball up. Shackleford tries to control it. It's going to be controlled by Pillow. Number 10. Carter Huddleston gets the ball over, and they get the ball over. It's going to be controlled by Delta Streets. Streets with the ball. Up the field. Nice play. I think that's Huddleston. Ruben Martinez with the ball. Over the top. Oh, nice play by Ruben. Beats the defender. Gets the ball over the top. It's going uh, to be Wells Wilson with a shot off the post. Off the post. And it's going to be cleared out by Delta Streets. Danny Vargas. 
Wells Wilson almost with the second goal. There's Vargas going through one, going through two. Vargas going through three, and he's going to be knocked down by Seraphin Simone. Seraphin can't believe it. Danny Vargas and Seraphin Simone having some serious uh, physical action there in the middle of the field. It's going to be called a foul by Seraphin. So Vargas is not going to set a record for the nation for goal score this year. He's not going to lead the nation because he's playing on the defensive line. Obviously a stop the Wells, Wilson, Lawson, Harvey Express that Phil Academy offers. I don't know if he plays that throughout the regular season. Ball kicked out of bounds by Lawson Harvey. Throw in Delta Streets. We're not sure how much time's left. I hope you're enjoying this broadcast. By the way, the uh, Pill Academy Junior High uh, squad will be playing in a junior high tournament this week. Check the uh, website for times and so on. And the, uh, as the ball goes over the top, the Lady Mustangs and Mustangs varsity squad will be in the conference tournament starting. Lawson Harvey with the ball, by the way. Beats a couple of defenders and a crossover. Wells Wilson. Wells Wilson through the middle. Wells is going to run to it. Look at the speed of the th number three for Delta Streets running. Tremendous speed. The Lady Mustangs and Mustangs will be back in action next Tuesday in conference action over at Bio Academy in Cleveland, Mississippi. As the Mustangs strive to go ahead and make the playoffs. Both of them trying to go and make it to the North State. I missed the first goal. Wells Wilson yes, scored a goal. Yes. I've been saying one nothing all this time, I Kim. I hated a little while you were going. Good. I, I can't so it. tell me about Wells' first goal. What did he do? Uh, it was a shot from the outside on the left side of the field. Great. I don't know who assisted because I was still getting things set up. Gotcha. But it was on camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to watch the replay, you can see Wells Wilson score a goal early. We have no idea how much time's left. We'll keep time for the second half. Lawson Harvey from the outside has the ball. Nice play to the outside. Let's see if he can beat the defender. He does. Keeps possession. Ooh, the defender trips him. And they're going to go ahead and call a foul as Lawson gets a free kick. Lawson's going to have a tough angle to score from here, but you know he's looking at Hunter. He's looking at Wells. He's looking at Kevin. Let's see what he can get up to. Lawson Harvey pops it in the box. It's going to be Wells trying to head it. Couldn't quite get there. It's going to be cleared out by Delta Streets. Technically speaking, I've not seen Delta Streets take a shot on goal yet as the action's been dominated by Pill Academy, although Delta Streets has had, it's been very formidable. Number, number 22 goes through, keeps the ball in play, and it's going to be kept up by number 10 for Pill Academy, Huddleston. Getting the ball to the outside, over to 11, Cole. Cole has the ball over to Martinez. Martinez. Gets the ball over to Harvey. Harvey trying to get over to Wells. Wells really dominating, but they're going to call a foul on Wells Wilson. Love the action. So, so far what Coach Simone has done is parked Lawson Harvey on that left side and put Wells Wilson. I'm sorry? Time. They're about to call time. He's looking at time right now. We're about to hear a whistle any second now as Kevin Hernandez gets the ball. Number 18. It's up the field. Play by Hunter. It goes off of the uh, Delta Streets player. Joseph Zanita. Joseph Zanita. Okay. Thank you, Kim. I can tell you all of them. Kim knows all of them. <laughs> she knows all of them because they all play for uh, the Red Bulls. Some of them do. Some of them do. Well, we've, well we've grown up with them. all I know is is that uh, Kim is that uh, Seraph and Simone and uh, Daniel Vargas they both play for the Red Bulls, right? Uh, Danny Vargas went to um, Rush this year. Oh, he went to Rush this year. Yes. Well, he played for the Red Bulls for a number of years. He did several well, years. Well, they've had a couple of collisions over there. As as here comes a run to the end, but it's going to be cleared out by William Brown. Oh, it's going to be out of bounds before William has to clear it out. It's going to be a throw in Pillow Academy. We have no idea what time is left as it's going to be throwing. Oh, it's going to be a free kick. I'm sorry. I don't know, don't, don't know what happened there. But, uh, yeah. You know, I am freezing in this press box. What is it like outside? <laughs> it's windy and it's cold here at Mississippi Valley State University. 
as uh, we have a free kick. Ball goes up the field. Controlled by Lawson Harvey. Lawson surveys the field. He's going to try to get that ball over to Wells. Lawson with a nice dribble off the defender. And uh, it's going to be Lawson Harvey with the throw in. Goals early on by Wells Wilson and Lawson Harvey. We're about to have the whistle. And that's your halftime, folks. Great first half for your Mustangs. Pillow Academy with a 2-0 lead over the defending Division III state champions, Delta Street Squad. I'll be joined at halftime any minute now. Oh, there he is right there. I mean, he actually showed up on time. We're going to be joined uh, by uh, Jason Harvey. Jason, you can stand right here. Jason, we don't have a tripod, Jason. This is old school right here. I like it. By hand I like it. Stuff. This is old school weather, old, too, it, isn't it? It is old school weather. I'll tell you what. This is like 2000. Uh, this, this reminds me of 2015. I was interviewing. That's, I think that's the last time I interviewed you on a Pill Academy broadcast game. It Maybe was a so. state championship game. We were playing Lamar in the girls' championship game. Yeah, at Lamar. Lamar. Yeah, yeah. And we were winning one nothing, and I interviewed Jason, and Lamar scored three straight goals. Man. I'll never forget that. Man. Where <laughs> <laughs> should just take these off right yeah, now? Take, take them off right now and get out of here. Right. Yeah. Look, I missed the Wells Wilson goal, but I but I literally showed up. I put my headset on, lost to Harvey with a spectacular shot from the left side. Let's talk about the Wells Wilson goal first. Tell me what happened there. Uh, I actually missed it as well. I did not come through the security gate as per the instructions. Went right down Rosa Park and had to turn right back around. You go hold the camera. Let him <laughs> talk to us then. Or let Cindy side. She's texting yeah. me ten times. She's telling me, Will scored a goal. You're not talking about it. Well, anyways, what yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, Wells Wilson scored apparently a really good goal. Yeah, and that's what I heard. And gave us a 1-0 I saw the second goal. T tell us how that was set up for uh, Lawson. Uh, just played over to the left side, beat the beat their right back, and just hit a nice uh, left footed shot and put it in the uh, in the left window. Excellent. And Excellent. Uh, right. so put us up two nothing. So this yeah. is my second broadcast. This team looks really good right now. Yeah, way way different than the start of the season. Um, you know the 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 back line looks like he's finally settled on a on a four, uh, moving in my opinion. Uh, the evolution of Ruben from backline to midfield uh, makes a lot of difference. He's just, uh, I believe he's playing some club ball this year, and uh, you you can tell, all right, his um, his tactical ability, uh, his his IQ has gone up. He's always been fast kid, tough kid, yeah. Uh, but getting him in the in the midfield and letting him uh, kind of roam free. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, makes makes a lot of difference. Offensively, I'm seeing some great chemistry with Ruben, Lawson, Wells, Kevin Hernandez. Yeah. I'm seeing that chemistry. It yeah. reminds me a lot of the chemistry we had on a 2017 state championship team. We right. had Logan. We had – I'm not going right. to mention my son's name because I'm not allowed to. Uh, Brady, he was there, though. He's he was part there. of it. Brady McDaniel. Uh, I'm trying to think who the fourth one was. Uh, Jeffrey Brady was there. Uh, yeah. There was somebody else there and so on. They had some great chemistry. They were able to kind of anticipate where they were and all that. Right. And uh, I'm seeing some similar chemistry here. Right. This team's got a shot here this yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. It is. It, it seems like it's peaking at the right time. Uh, they're looking good. Uh Tell me what happened in that 2-1 loss at Washington. What the heck happened there? Uh, tough game. Um, it's always tough to yeah, play at Washington. All, all, and and all, Kelly is a great coach. Yeah, abs absolutely. It's um, It was typical soccer. We had more possessions, more shots, more completed passes. Um, they get a couple of opportunities, and they capitalize on all of them, and we uh, we don't. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's, it's – uh, yeah, the game can be pretty cruel at times, and, and that was just one of those games. It was cruel. It was also an emotionally charged game. You know, it was uh, – Washington versus Pillow? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. What's the big deal about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Teenage boys, uh, imagine that, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's always – like I said, it's always a really tough to play. That's a bit of a smaller field. It, it is, it is. And uh, I, I just don't think that plays well uh, for us. Yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken – the way the conference works and all that, I, I know in previous years St. Al was in our division. Have they moved out of our division? Uh, have uh, these guys moved in? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have um, – St. Al is out, which is nice because they're right here. Yeah. Uh, St. Al's a bit of a haul. Yes. Uh, so just from a logistics standpoint, that's nice. But it's also nice to have a uh, kind of an in-town 
Yes. Uh, I, and I would, uh, oh, this is great. Friendly rivalry, right? This is, this is not a, this is not a Washington pillow. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of these kids play soccer yeah. together already outside of school. Yeah. So it's nice to see that. Uh, it, 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 and it's good competition. You yes. know, it's two nothing, but it's it's a close game. Yeah. I was commenting earlier, when I see Daniel Vargas and I see Lawson Harvey, those are two of the best players in the state of Mississippi battling away. That's 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 worth the price. Yeah, the that's right that. There. it definitely is. I was surprised to see uh, Danny plays on Lawson's club team, and I was really surprised to see Danny playing left back. Um, what does he normally play? Uh, club ball, he's a midfielder or he's an attacker. Um, you know, to me, he's probably their best, their best player. Uh, not rooting against us, but if I were them, I, I would want him in the midfield. I would want his foot on the ball as much as possible. Are they going to be able to score without Danny Vargas in the middle? I mean, they're down 2 nothing. 2 nothing, 10 nothing. right? You've already lost. So, yeah. uh, I, I know, you know, Danny's fast and, and can defend as well. So, I understand having him on the back line. But at this point, you need the ball at his feet. Um, you need to let him do what he does best, which is score. Yeah. And um, that, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to tell them that, but yeah, yeah, that yeah. would, def hope, that would definitely be yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that would definitely be my recommendation for them is get the ball at his feet. Eight years ago, or seven and a half years ago, you said that if I were Lamar's coach, I would do this and I would do this, and they did it, and they scored three goals on us. So Maybe just, that's it. Yeah, you just need to. Yeah, hopefully they're not, nobody's watching because you actually what you suggested they actually did. And they scored three straight goals on us, and we. Scored a goal late, made it 3-2, but right. it was a tough loss in yeah. the 20, 2015 state championship tournament. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, look, uh, exciting times. Uh, Pill Academy has a chance to really wrap up. Uh, I mean, we got to win the rest of our games, but we have a chance to be the number one seed from the West Division and go into the tournament. And uh, I don't know who the two would be. It would either be Washington. I mean, Washington could still win it above yeah. us. we yeah. gotta, we got to take care of business and so on. But it seems like there's three really good teams in Division II soccer here in um, – Washington, Pillow, and um, Delta Streets. And the sad part about it is only two will make the playoffs. That's right. That's the tough part about it. Yeah, that's right. But uh, that's why you play the games. That's why you compete. And um, we'll see what happens here. Absolutely. Uh, any predictions on the rest of the season? Uh, I, I, I like our chances. Um, you know, it looks like we're really starting to play well as a team. Uh, attack it looks good. Some players have really stepped up. So um, I expect us to, uh, to do well. Okay. I know uh, Lawson definitely wants to win a championship because he would be the only Harvey that didn't. Yeah, uh, you're right. So, uh, so big, big pressure right. on, on on him. That's and, right. Uh, well, he was in the seventh grade in 2017, wasn't he? Uh, sixth grade. He was in the sixth right. grade. So, yeah, he, so he, he wasn't he, on that team. He was one. He was one year off. He so. was he was in the crowd watching Logan flop every other play, and giving my son a chance to take a PK. Correct, that's, correct. That's what it was. Correct, <laughs> correct. He hasn't mastered that art yet. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's one thing where Logan's going to be. we got second, uh, second half action. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yes, sir. Take Appreciate care. it. Great Alrighty. job. It's warm up here, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. You're more than welcome to stick up here with us if you want to. Hey, hey, give me some analysis here. Hey, you know what? Hey, put the headset on. What am I talking about here? Uh, I'm going to jump in here as uh, we have the second half action. Hey, man, I'm joined by the legend himself. Uh, hold on just one second. Let me see here. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, 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 I'm joined by Mr. Harvey, the uh, former coach here at Pill Academy. Go ahead and help me broadcast the second half. And he's just glad to have a heater nearby. Yeah, As, absolutely. Uh, Jason, we've got second half action. Have they moved? Oh, uh, they moved Vargas to the, Vargas to the middle. They yeah, listened to you. Yeah, they listened to me. I should have shut my you mouth. Or... Hey, there's Vargas trying to get the ball over the middle. Delta <laughs> Streets with the, uh, with the move. I hope that uh, you don't do it again to us, uh, Jason. <laughs> And that's what they needed to do. Yeah. Vargas led the nation last year in goal score. I think he had like 53 had a, or something like that. He, he had was, an insane amount of goals. How many goals does uh, Logan have? Uh, Lawson have this year? Uh, he is that exact number. I don't know. He, he thinks Sanjay's single season is in, in sight, but uh, – yeah. I, I, I don't know about that. Uh, just it, for the over a, under, when you mention Sanjay's name, it doesn't. It doesn't. He has twenty three goals this year. It doesn't count okay. as me mentioning Sanjay. So, okay. 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 There you go. There you go. <laughs>
By the way, they played against each other in the alumni game and lost and picked up Sanjay. And, and I just mentioned his name. And, 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 and it was a great rivalry. Sanjay scored a header. Were you there at the alumni game? By any I, I was not. I missed okay. this one. Sanjay scored a great header, and Lawson says, I'm playing defense. I'm, I'm man-marking Sanjay, and he shut Sanjay down. Sanjay didn't have another shot the entire game. Uh, but it was a 7-3 victory by the Pill Academy squad right. in that uh, alumni game. Here's Vargas over the middle, trying to go to the outside. Look at that speed by Vargas. He's going to be knocked down. No call. No call. As the ball goes over the top. Let's see how it affects their defense with Vargas not on that defensive line. Seraph and Simone trying to get the ball over the middle, but it's going to be a good – the ball's going to go to the keeper. Keeper seems like he's pretty good. Even though he allowed a couple of goals there, he seems like he's pretty soccer knowledgeable, Jason. I, yeah, I did not see the, the first one, but the second one was just a really nice shot. Uh, Keeper can't stop everything. Yeah, you know, technically speaking, the only person that's told me there's two nothing is Cindy Size. Cindy might be making it up. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. If you're enjoying this broadcast, please text us at six six two three nine two fifty one fifty as Lawson Harvey from the outside Ooh. over the goal. Boy, that was up. close. That was nice. Yeah, kind of got in the wind a little bit and floated. Yeah, yeah. You know who uh, used to do that really well on the girls' side was Madeline Kelly. Madeline Kelly used to take yeah. a shot from 40 yards out and would plant it up and all of a sudden would fall down and go inside the goal. It was yeah. an amazing talent that she had. Um, here yeah. comes Hunter Berry with the ball to the outside over to Ruben. Now playing midfield, as you mentioned. Back over to Hernandez. Hernandez surveys the field, takes his time, gets the ball back. to is that Shackleford? Shackleford yes. to the outside. I'm – I'm getting these names down pat finally. It took me a while. Uh, here comes Vargas, number 10. Clearing the ball off the field over to six. Six tries to control it over 22. A little collision there. Comes a little break there. A nice play there by Good William tackle. Brown. Stopping that potential breakaway there. Number six for Dill Streets is their highest goal scorer this season. So number uh, Evian? Elion Ortiz, number six, is their top goal scorer. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see what combination he has with Vargas as uh, Delta Streets makes the big adjustment, listens to Jason Harvey, moves the ball to the outside. Speaking of a Harvey, here's Larson on, Lawson on the outside. Oh, Lawson turns it over. No call on the uh, physical play there. Lawson loves that physical play, by the way. If there's anybody that likes to mix it up, it's Lawson Harvey, who's not exactly Mr. Popular when it comes to the opposing teams. <laughs> no. Uh, ask uh, Starkville Academy about that. But um, <laughs> here comes Delta Streets. The ball's going to be taken away by Hunter Berry. Hunter Berry with a nice move. Look at that speed. Yeah, nice. The sophomore emerging star gets the ball over Lawson. Lawson tries to take a shot. It's going to be off of number three. Celebrating. Has something to say to Lawson. Lawson has something to say to him. We'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> yeah. You know, Hunter, uh, his confidence has is, is grown oh. during this season, too. He's, um, he found that play quick. Yes. Uh, so he, he's really looking nice in the midfield as yes. well. Ball, Kevin Hernandez from the outside, in the box. Hit outside it. the box, take a shot off of the defender. It's tough for us to keep an eye on the corner here. There's Simone with the ball. Can't tell what's going on there. And the ball is going to be cleared over to the keeper, I guess, or is that going to be a goal kick? I guess it's going to be a goal kick. Oh, my goodness. They're hugging each other. Yeah, uh, a, a lot of these kids play together. Yeah. So, it, this when I mentioned it's a rivalry, but it's it's way more friendly rivalry than uh, – Hamid, Hamid getting involved with the action. I've never seen that before. Uh, Hamid telling the two players to get along. They hug each other. <laughs> express their uh, respect for each other, and Hamid still talks to him. As we have a goal kick by Delta Streets. I forgot to keep the time. I, I forgot when we started, but it's okay. It's all right. Uh, Lawson Harvey gets the ball, tries to clear it back. Here comes Harvey with the ball from the outside, tries to go through the middle, into the box. Ball's going to be cleared by number three once again. Good battle between Harvey and number three over and over again, it seems like, as we have a corner kick. Quick drop over to Ruben, over to Lawson. There's offsides. It's going to be offsides on Harvey as Harvey had not had a chance to get back onside. <clears throat> I'm going to assume we're about 10 minutes in here, so we probably started at 337. So uh, it's going to be a offsides, and it's going to be a free kick by 
Delta Streets. So what do you think about the adjustment uh, so far with Vargas? Uh, they had one quick break here. Yeah, one, one quick break. The, um, <clears throat> the only problem he's going to have is the field is so slick that uh, his individual skill is not going to show through as much as it would uh, ha has, had he had a good surface to play on. And I think that's why – one reason why we're doing better right now is we're passing the ball a bit better and uh, they're – they're trying to use a little more individual skill and speed, which uh, obviously, you know, it's on, tough this on, field like yeah, on, on this field right here is just going to be tough. Do you recall the last time we were here? Yeah, playoff uh, against Heritage. Hartfield. No, Hartfield. 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 Uh, yeah. Floyd Mountain was the goalkeeper, so yeah. that would have had to have been. 2008, 2019. 19, yep. 2019. Yeah, we won that playoff game, but it was close. Yeah, Eli Burton with a goal. That's right, won that's right. nothing, good yep. old Eli. Uh-huh. Came back his senior year to play, I believe. Yep, came back his senior year to play. Yep. yep. It, was, it was nice to have him on that team. <laughs> so ball goes to Hernandez. It's going to be controlled by Delta Streets. Got to watch Vargas expressing over that middle there. The ball goes over to 14 on the outside. Nice play by nice William by Brown. William's really come on strong. This is my second game broadcasting. Really been impressed with Shackelford and Brown on that back line, as well as the other two guys. Uh, yeah. Really coming on strong. For those of you all that don't know, William's an excellent tennis player as well. I believe he's a senior this year. William is. Uh -huh. William is, okay. Throw in by Delta Streets. Yeah, William came on as a defender last year. He really started to shine in, in this year's – it's been super solid back there. Hunter Berry tries to control the ball, gets it over to Wells Wilson. Wells tries to get it over to Simone, but it's going to be intercepted. But Hunter gets the ball again, turns it over. Here comes Vargas. Vargas goes to the outside. He's looking for Elion over the middle, and he can't quite get it there. So this is a nice play by the pillow defender. And here comes Simone. Simone getting the ball over to Harvey. Harvey's got some green, or, or brown, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, Harvey and 13 battling away here as four goes over there. Harvey gets around both. He's thinking about crossing it. He's going to go to the box, takes a shot. He oh. scores. Beautiful shot by Lawson. Harvey from the outside beats two defenders, goes from the side. Oh, what a spectacular shot by Lawson. Harvey is 24th goal of the season. And just like that, it is 3-0. That was all Lawson Harvey on that one. Yeah, the defenders made a bit of a mistake. Uh, both came in and attacked him at, at the same, same time, time versus one play and cover, uh, which allowed him to beat him on the, the byline and then uh, score right foot a goal. Yeah. That's 3 0. Okay, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. I'm getting attacked by size here. First inning now, Tony. Goodness gracious, alive. Uh, that, got, that makes the score 3 0. Uh -oh. Ball over the middle. Come on, Miles. There you go. Buddy. Oh, big collision there. The ball's still loose. There we Miles go. Miles Fleming with the ball. It's 3 0. Pillow Academy. Big battle there as uh, we've got a goal by Wells Wilson and two by Lawson Harvey as 23rd and 24th goals of the year. Uh, Good tackle by Garrett. Nice play by Cole. Gets the ball off the field. Here's Harvey, the troublemaker, <laughs> with the ball <laughs> over to Hunter Berry. Hunter Berry over to Wells Wilson. Good ball movement. Great ball movement. Over the top and turns it over. Jason, talk some more. What are you observing out there with the ball movement and all that? Talk yeah, the, to like I said before, especially the, the individual skill is going to be really tough. Um, and, and we're moving the ball well, switching points of attack. Um, a lot of good one-two touches. Uh, no one's holding on to the ball too long. And uh, I, I think that's where we're seeing the difference here, and that's that's why we're winning three to nothing. And um, – Nice header. See the ball out. Chris is ineligible to play for number seven for Delta Streets today or just in general? Today. Just today. Okay. So Delta Streets missing their top defender. Boy, they could have used him against uh, yeah. what Wells Wilson and Lawson Harvey have done so far. That's made a big Tough angle here. I'm sure he'll be back in next uh, week when we play against Delta Streets as we have a Delta Streets throw in here. 
Got the drums going. Got a got a nice atmosphere here, Jason. Yeah, good crowd. I like it. Man, I, I always it. enjoy seeing a uh, a, a lively crowd. What, what are those enjoy. horns called? Bazookas? Or what are they called? I don't even know what they're called. I mean, they're, uh, um, if they're the ones they had in the World Cup oh. when it was in South Africa, they were a Vovozella. Thank God they don't have any of those over uh, here. Absolutely. That was the most annoying <laughs> thing possible. Harvey with the ball down low. Jason, I, I had a call yesterday from my daughter, and we are going to spring break. We're going to London, and we're going to watch Chelsea one day and Tottenham the next. Oh, what man. Do you think of that, uh, man? That, that's fantastic. That's uh, my favorite team and my least favorite team. What's your least respective favorite team? Respective of Tottenham Hotspur. That's your favorite team or least No, favorite? that's my least favorite that team. That is my daughter's favorite team. Oh, no. Shame on you. Oh, no. She is no. a Harry Kane fanatic. <laughs> well, Harry Kane is a good player. He's but a heck of a player. Uh, Despite missing that PK at the World Cup. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I had no idea about that. But that, that. that that'll be uh, two fantastic games. Yes. Got some cheap airline tickets on American Airlines. There you go. We're, we're trying to get the tickets right now. I've, I've got a hold on those tickets. Vargas trying to do something. Vargas is just surrounded. He can't – it's tough to do on this yeah. field. You're exactly and, right. And it's – once again, he um, he's going to need some help. He, Danny's great at making plays. He's great with the ball at his feet. But his teammates are going to have to help him out and, and move – uh, for him and, and let allow him to make some plays. What year is Vargas? What what grade is he in this year? I believe Danny's a junior. He's a junior, I yeah, see. Yeah, I know he's got a 05 birth date. Okay. Uh, so he, he would almost definitely be a junior. Gotcha. And congratulate Lawson Harvey, who signed with Jones Community College, an excellent uh, sign. I know uh, yeah. his older brother was at Bellhaven, and his older sister ended up going to Holmes and was captain of a team that made the uh, – National championship, if I'm not mistaken. That, yep, they uh, were in the national championship game. Didn't come out too well, but uh, hey man. still nice to get there. Absolutely. As as uh, Delta Street is, is just resolved to go and force that ball out of bounds, the constant pressure of Pill Academy is just – Starting to wear on them. It's starting to wear. It, it's, it's starting to wear on them. Yep, you can see it. And luckily we're getting to attack on, which looks like a little bit better side of the field this – Yes. This field to our right is uh, – our defending side is pretty chewed up. Yeah. Uh, Not sure about the wind directions. Hunter Berry goes over the middle. Not sure about the wind direction, if that has any impact on anything. But uh, all I know is it's a lot warmer up here than it is out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Ruben Martinez gets the ball over the uh, top. Kind of goes off the side it a of bit, his foot. But a little shank there. Is trying to get the ball over to Lawson. Lawson battling away down there. We can't see anything. Lawson steals it. Centers it over the top. There's Wells Wilson. Hit it, Wells. Wells is going to get an attempt back over to Lawson. Can't quite it there. Wells Wilson over oh, the middle, nice. but there's nobody there for Pillow. Lawson's a bit of a pain on that left side on that line over there. He's causing some uh, havoc. As uh, Yeah, and that's his, more of his natural spot. I see. Uh, I see. That's, that's, um, what formation are we playing? What are we playing? Uh, we're like playing – appears, appears, Yeah, it appears we're playing 4-3-3. 4-3-3, I see. And is Seraphin in the middle with uh, Wells on the right yeah. and Lawson on the left? Uh, correct. Yeah. And then it looks like they're kind of – Kevin and Lawson are kind of uh, interchangeable, mm -hmm. just depending upon who gets up there. Yeah. But you'll see that uh, Kevin is dropping back into the midfield. I'll tell you, Wells has really found the nose for the – Oh, tough hit on uh, Danny. between Vargas and Martinez. Yeah. Unintentional. Unintentional. Unintentional, but still a, a, right in the back of the head on yeah. Danny. You could see – we can kind of zoom in on that. We could, we could see Ruben go immediately to his friend uh, Danny Vargas and check on him. You hate to see that happen. I, I think he's going to be okay. I don't know if their head's collided or what. And uh, Ruben – I believe it was a forearm in the back, but it was oh, okay. uh, not malicious. Just just through the, through the play uh, – Caught that in the back of the head. Gotcha. You can see Lawson checking on his friend uh, Danny as well. There's tremendous respect from this entire pillow squad towards that young man, number 10. Uh, not only uh, the leading goal scorer in the nation last year, but just a really nice guy. What an incredible – Really good kid. Oh, yeah. We've had, we've had the opportunity to – to go to some some games, uh, some club games with him and his family, and just just r really nice folks. Are there any uh, community colleges or anybody looking at him? Uh, there should be. Um, 
he would ha he would definitely have the the opportunity uh, if he want. He'll get a lot more exposure playing uh, club this year, um, especially on on the team that he's on. Is there blood? Uh, that's just a red ear. Yeah, that's just a His really ear cold ear. And so red. He's in a lot of pain. Yeah. We're going to do some concussion protocol over here. Again, it was just an inadvertent uh, bump between Vargas and uh, Ruben Martinez as Kim goes out there. Goodness, Kim does everything. She's the camera lady. She's the production manager. It's and she's, yeah. uh, she, she's apparently the uh, <laughs> medical person here as yeah. well. Where was she all these years? My goodness. Yeah, we could have used that uh, many a time, couldn't we have? What's Kim's – is Kim an assistant coach on the squad? I'm not even sure. That, that's, good, that's a good question. <laughs> Just that's, uh, maybe no – sometimes uh, an official title – or no official title is better yeah. than uh, yeah. than that. Yeah, Dan, Danny definitely took a hard whack because yeah. I've seen him take some some uh, hard hits in club games and, and he bounces right up. He's a really tough kid, so for him to be down on the sideline. It's going to be pretty serious. Uh, uh, he, he's, not serious, but just he's concerned. He's got to be hurting. Yeah. It'll be tough to keep him out of the game as, as the ball goes over to Delta Streets. Uh, Delta Streets getting the ball, but it's going to be taken away by Shackelford over to Barry. Barry goes down the field. He's got some space as that speed shows up, trying to get the ball over to Wilson. One too many uh, steps there as Simone has the ball. Very impressed with the pillow performance and a 3 nothing lead. Uh, as Tony Sai reminded me, it's not 2 nothing; it's 3 nothing. <laughs> That's right. Ball goes uh, off the defender for Pilla. I see T-Mac is going to go ahead and um, try to get some help over here for Vargas. Boy, this is uh, not looking good. I mean, it's just it's concerning, obviously. Yeah, definitely so. Um, Ball goes up the field. It's intercepted by Kevin Hernandez. Kevin goes down the field. See some nice moves there. Gets the ball over Lawson. A little give and go over to Kevin. Kevin has the ball over to Wells. It, Wells. Wells with a shot from the outside. Right on goal. Keeper was there. Johnny on the spot. Good work there by those three. Uh, the finish wasn't what we wanted, but the ball movement definitely was. Yeah. They've covered up Vargas with a blanket right now just to kind of keep him warm as he lays there, and he's kind of not moving much. As the ball goes over, there's Harvey with the ball. Nice move to the outside. Harvey over to Ruben Martinez. Back to Harvey. It's going to be a little bit too much. He didn't anticipate it. And uh, the ball goes out, and it'll be Delta Street's ball. So we don't have a uh, clock working. And uh, so we're not sure how much time's left. I've got to assume if it started at 3.37, we're about 23 minutes in with about 17 minutes left approximately. I think they're letting Vargas up right now as um, Hunter Berry with the ball. And he's going to be tripped over. It's going to be a free kick for Pillow Academy from the outside. I assume that uh, Lawson Harvey will get this free kick with the big left foot. Lawson has the ability to bend it like Beckham. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, we'll see how they get their wall lined up. We've got a really good vantage point right here. We do. Almost right behind the ball and looking at the post. So, yep, I was going to say. Lawson takes a quick shot, goes off the uh, Delta Streets defender. And, and again. Here comes Delta Streets. Uh oh. Nice move. Little Here's attack. number six, their leading goal scorer. Goes through a couple players. Oh, what a play by Ooh. Ruben Martinez. Clean slide tackle there. Boy, he needed that because their left uh, forward was Open. running unmarked towards yep. our, our box. Goal-saving tackle potentially there. Number five with the ball. You know what I love about the Delta Streets crowd with the drums and everything? They're down 3 nothing. You wouldn't know it. That's right. <laughs> you would not know it. Ball over the ball. top. Nice plays by Mize Fleming. Yep. Does the old flop down there. Reminds me of the uh, Liverpool goal. No, not Liverpool. Uh, oh, Everton goalie. What's the Everton goalie? He plays for the national team. Oh, right? yeah. Pickford. Jordan, yeah. Jordan Pickford. Jordan Pickford. Yep. Every time he gets the ball, he flops down. Yeah. The ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you impressed that I know this much about the uh, uh, Yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, I am. My it's, daughter it's... got addicted her senior year in high school, and now we watch soccer together while she's in D.C. and I'm in Greenwood. We watch games together and yeah. we comment and so on. So, uh, Yeah, it's something to do in the morning. You know, oh, before absolutely. you can still watch uh, American football as well because most of the Premier League yep. games are done by 12. Yep. So Saturday or Sunday morning, you, yep. 
get USA your Premier Network. League. That, yeah, yep, great, get your man. Premier League football in, and then get your uh, American football in. Hunter Barry battling away there, and the ball's going to be off the uh, Delta Street uh, defender. It's going to be a throw in by apparently Barry. So this team, you're very impressed with this team and its progression and so on, Jason. You think it's comparable to that 2017 team, which uh, your son Logan was uh, such an instrumental part uh, different, of? Different team. Diff uh, definitely different team. Um, How about talent-wise? A uh, lot more senior. That, that If you remember that uh, 2017. Simone from the outside. Oh. It's a shot. He scores. Goal. Really nice. Seraph and Simone with a shot with some eyes. Hits the, beats the keeper on the post. And it is 4-0 Pillow Academy as Seraphin works on the celebration with Lawson. Not much <laughs> they need to work on that. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Well, and, uh, nice if, shot by Seraphin. Yeah, I guess that's our uh, one thing we could work on yeah. today is uh, yeah. our goal celebration yeah. is a little, yeah. little uh, off. The 2017 was yeah. senior leading. We had yeah, six yeah. seniors. Yeah, six starting seniors that had uh, a lot of those guys had been starting since ninth grade. Yep. Uh, or, or playing significant time. So, different team, uh, but, um, you know, this is. All right. All right. I'm going to challenge you right here. Trivia question is, oh, we got to watch this. William Brown gets the ball over the demise. Uh, trivia question for you. I'm going to get you to name all six seniors from the 2017 state championship Wow, team. well. I know. Let, let's get uh, Logan Harvey out of the way. I, th I thought Walt, you'd forget that one. Walt Pillow. Uh, let's do Walker Coleman. Uh, let's go Colin Short. Yes. Uh, let's um, – Peyton Turner. Yep. Uh, Leland Simcox. That's it. And uh, – yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, the six starters, right? Yeah, yeah. By the way, Kevin Hernandez just picked up a yellow car with a little intimidation move there. Yeah. I didn't know Kevin had that in him. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, you don't mind seeing that every once in a while. And um, – uh, Hamid's pretty quick with the yellows. Yes. Uh, I guess is a nice way to say that. Yes. So uh, you don't necessarily have to earn it with him. Yes. I'm very impressed that you need those six. All right, uh, give, me, give me the other starting five. Oh, my goodness. Um, Brady McDaniel. Yep. Uh, Sanjay was in there. He, he was a starter, yeah. Um, man, oh, man. Who else did we have? Come on. Yeah, well – Fresh age is creeping in. It's already got my hair. <laughs> there was a guy whose whose father is very loud. Oh boy, oh boy, who are we talking? About? <laughs> Jonathan Brady's oh, father, yep, yep, Jeffrey yep, Brady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonathan was uh, hum, uh, he was uh, definitely a uh, fan of Hamid, I guess you could say. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Brady, Sanjay, Jeffrey. Um, and there was two other classmates of uh, Sanjay's. Oh, oh no, I know. It was two other classmates of Brady McDaniel. I remember specifically. E, uh, Bailey Vaughn. Bailey Vaughn, that's right. And uh, it wasn't Eli Burton. Who was the other one? No. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to – somebody's going to be very upset with me that I've forgotten who the last starter was. <laughs> um, I can't think of who it was. I just cannot think. But anyways, it was uh, – well, it'll, it'll come to me in no time at all. What a squad yeah, I, that was. It was. Uh, I had forgotten about Bailey Vaughn. Yeah. He was kind of a late addition as far as from Pillow. I believe yes. he came his maybe junior. his, his yeah, junior sophomore, year. junior year. Junior right? year. Yep. Junior year came in as our field goal kicker. That's and right. Also as our, and by the way, I was very impressed to see Lawson Harvey kicking field goals this year. That was great to see him out there. It, Here comes Wells Wilson over the top. There we go. It's going to be Simone. The ball goes uh, behind him. Kind of lost his footing. Poor tackle there. Lawson and the defender. Lawson comes up a little bit gimpy. Lawson seems like he's been a little gimpy lately. I don't know. Is he, has he had 100%? Yeah, uh, no, he's picked up a few knocks. He, he, started the, he started the football season with a pretty bad ankle sprain uh, and then has just picked up, um, been the recipient of some, some bad tackles from – uh, one specific team that's to our west. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's before you get to Columbus, but uh, it's uh, after Matheson. So uh, <laughs> figure that one out. That's actually technically to our east. You're, you're right, to yeah, our yeah, east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, thought you were talking yeah. about Kelly and Washington. No, well, that one too. Uh, that okay, one too. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that, that one you're talking about, they haven't like Lawson since the, I thought uh, the, 
since the handshake a couple of years ago. Yeah, the handshake I, known around the world. That 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 never. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that ever went away. Well, uh, Lost is not winning a popularity contest in Stark Vegas. I'll tell you that. No, he's, he's not. And you didn't mention Starkville. I did. Yeah. Uh, Seraph and Simone. <laughs> oh, a little shove there. Uh, can't quite see what's going on there with the angle. But the ball's going to be out. It's going to be – is that going to be a throw-in or corner kick? We can't tell. I'm trying to look the uh, – I can stick my head out the press box, but it's cold out yeah. there. We're just going to go ahead and watch the ball fly in. That's what we'll do. Uh, with as close as that uh, Delta Streets player is it's to Seraphin, I believe it's going to be a throw-in. Yep. Four nothing is the score at Pill Academy as uh, Ruben Martinez gets the ball but turns it over. Uh, four nothing on goals by – Two goals by Lawson Harvey, one by Seraph and Simone, and one by Wells Wilson. Pillow will be back in action. Oh, let me get my schedule out. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Heritage. Heritage tomorrow. Okay. It'll be at Heritage. Away, yes. I will not be at that game. <laughs> I will not be able to go there. As the ball goes into the box, oh, his throw and he scores. And I believe that's going to be Seraph and Simone with his second goal with a little bend there. Hope we caught on. Look at the celebration. You can't even see the celebration they got going out there. It's got to be better than the last one. Oh, man, much better. <laughs> As Seraph and Simone, I believe. <laughs> with, yeah, that's Seraph. And look at him. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. He's talking. Had a ball that just kind of bent, bent, bent to the left. And it is 5 nothing Pillow Academy. I think he got some uh, help from the wind as well. If you can look at the corner flag, it's kind of blowing across the field but towards us a bit yep. and I think it the ball almost looked like a, he, he definitely put some bend on it uh, yep. but it also looked like uh, that it got caught up yep. in the wind I was I believe Cole has left the ball game and in is Durham Vera Potiar number 13 a senior good good to see the seniors out there playing Durham has had a good year Durham's had a Durham, really good he, year he's, he's had a really good year he's been solid defense uh, and looked confident on the ball. I'm trying to figure out what's going on over here with our coaches and refs. Maybe we're trying to decide on a, <clears throat> a mercy rule if we're getting close. It's 5 nothing. I figure we're at least 32 minutes in. They might be checking on that. Um, but it would be 8. 8 yeah. would be the score. I guess unless the coaches uh, agree on it. But it an impressive performance by the Mustangs. Uh, Delta Streets down 2 nothing at the half, giving three goals up now for all. Uh, to, to give them the benefit of the doubt, they've been out without their superstar, Daniel Vargas, who has suffered an uh, injury. We're not sure the extent of the injury. We hope it's just temporary. Uh, took a hard collision there with Reuben. It was a completely clean play. As we now go to 5 nothing, I see... Hamid is talking to Seraphin. Might be about the victory celebration. Could have been. It may have been. A... He might be telling him not to do it, or he might be telling him to do a better job at it. <laughs> Either one is possible. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, it looks like there's a lot of smiles on the boys' faces, so it doesn't look like they're getting uh, reprimanded too much. Yeah, yeah. Five nothing. Pill Academy over Delta Streets as we uh, continue to lead the West Division of the North Conference. Uh, any knowledge about the teams in the South? Any any knowledge? At all? I, I have not seen any of them play. Um, I'm going to assume you still have the traditional power of Lamar. Yeah, uh, I, I would I would uh, suppose that that's going to be uh, once again our, our toughest challenge. Yeah. Uh, no, com two goals. Seraph and Simone with two goals, and Wells Wilson with one. Looks like Sumner Tacken is in playing right forward now. Sumner Tacken at the right forward position, as we have Sumner there with the ball. He's battling away. He's the one with the clean uniform as he uh, comes into the game. Got to fix that. Yep. That won't take, that won't take too long. <laughs> Not on this field. <laughs> <laughs> How's Sharon doing, by the way? I haven't seen her in a while. She doing good. well. She's actually uh, in Cabo with her sister. Must be uh, nice. Right. At, well, that's what I told her. Is she called me right before I got here. She complained that it was a little windy there. I said, well, yeah, well, it's 40 a and windy. 40, give me a break. Yeah, 40 and windy here. Sharon, if you're uh, if you're watching the broadcast, please text us. What I have a feeling she's on a beach somewhere. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I know exactly where she's at. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. <laughs> she ain't she ain't watching the broadcast. No, she'll, she'll watch them next week. Yeah, good for her. Absolutely. Good, good friend of my wife's, and uh, want to say hello to Sharon if she happens to be listening. 
Ruben Martinez with the ball. Nice, nice move Ruben. around the defender. Gets the ball over to the middle, trying to get the ball over to Tackett. Looks like Lawson Harvey's out of the game, and uh, also uh, Cole Lawson and Cole came out of the game. Pillow County with the 5 nothing lead. Not sure how much time's left. Ball nice goes over to Simone. Simone thinking about a hat trick. Durham Bear Potiar clears the ball up the field. A little ambitious, but. <sighs> yep. You know, Ruben does a nice job of staying on his feet. His, uh, his stride's really short, uh -huh. nice and choppy, and uh, it works for him well on these sloppy conditions. Hey, Jason, I love these new uniforms. Wow. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, they're wow. sharp. I think they're the, um, what do they call it, the jump man? I'm, I guess uh, I'm a little uh, a little old to keep up with the. Uh, the jump man? Yeah, they're the, um, the Jordan brand. Oh, okay. The, yeah, yeah, I think it's maybe still technically Nike. I, Getting out of my wheelhouse here, you, Shresh. Well, you, you you're out of your wheelhouse. When you said jump around, I had no clue whatsoever. The seniors designed them. The seniors designed them. How do you like that? Okay. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I like them. They look sharp. Yeah. Throw in over the middle. I thought Where about who the 11th player is, by the way. I just remembered. And he was a freshman. His name was Arv Noah Woodard. Ah, oh, that's Noah right. Noah Woodard. That's right. Noah Woodard. I couldn't think yeah. of who that last defender was. It was Noah Woodard. Ball goes over yeah, the middle. No. Yep, I finally figured it out. Noah was a big part of that team. He was. And then stopped playing soccer that's his right. junior and senior yeah, year. Yeah, that's the right. That we re they really missed him. Wow, they really could have used him. Yeah, he was great. He was really good out of the air with his head. Yep. Uh, yep. Lefty, too, I believe. Yep, Best he, I remember, uh, lefty. Yep. And his brother, A.J., was a fantastic soccer AJ player, was, but didn't but play. I didn't no. play varsity soccer after the eighth grade. Yeah. I hated it. Missed him on that team as well. He would have been a – Oh. He would, he would have been the seventh starting senior because yes. A.J. – Yes. He was that Had good. some nice speed and good skill. Yep. So, in 2017, we won a state championship, defeating Lamar 4-2 in the state championship game. Very next year, made it to the state championship game and lost 3-1 – to that same Lamar squad. And in 2019, as Kevin Hernandez gets the ball over the top, through the middle, and it's going to be stopped. And it's going to be Delta Street's ball. They're going to call a foul. It's going to be a free kick. 2019, we lost in the semifinals to Hartfield. I'll remember that because it was my 50th birthday, and my son got a red card. <laughs> I do remember that. And he got kicked out of the All-Star game. But uh, I'm not supposed to be talking about my kids. <laughs> Simone with another attempt here from the outside, going for his possible third goal, going for the hat trick. Let's see if he can bend it like Beckham again, use that little uh, think, movement on the ball. I think he can beat the keeper to his right, to the keeper's right if he plays it there. Well, uh, it would have been nice if it hadn't been, yeah. you know, uh, 20 feet above the goal. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're in the turn row on the uh, next field over. That ball is halfway towards Indianola by this point. Uh, yep. It went way over the goal here as we've lost that one. To be fair to Sanjay, that was an extremely frustrating game. Uh, yes. it, it was ref um, yeah. uh, questionable yep. uh, a little bit. We He tied the game up 2-2 two -two with five minutes left and then three minutes later with two minutes left they scored a goal to beat us yeah. and it was very frustrating. Yeah. Very, was, very much was. Uh, but that was a good Hartfield team. It was a fantastic Hartfield team that went on to win the state championship that year. Right. Uh, the same Hartfield team a couple of years later defeated us in the 2020? Yeah, state championship. Right before COVID, they beat us. They beat Christian Belk and uh, Richard McQueen and that senior-laden uh, That's right. A senior team for uh, Pill Academy. That's right. Kind of blew us out in the state championship game. Boy, we had a great goalie that year in George a a Abdo. Was uh -huh. that his name? Was that uh, no, not George. No, uh, uh, it was George Sphere. George Sphere. Sphere. Uh huh. Good old Georgie. Nice play by the Delta Streets team. We've had some great players over the years, and Georgie was one of the best. Yeah, yeah definitely uh, so. So he was a keeper that stands out. The, the next one I can really go back to, and uh, just because of his height and the the way he uh, uh, was. Uh, Walt. Walt, uh, Walt, Walt Pillow. Pillow. Uh, oh, you know he. He looked like the prototypical yes. uh, keeper and, and played well, too. Yes, he did. And had not played that position a lot. Yes. Uh, he'd, he'd only been there a couple of years. Walt uh, was a great athlete, got put in goal, and just made some great plays. Yeah, he, really he did. did. Super tough. Yeah. Never forget that state championship game, some of those saves he had against Ooh, Lamar just wow. kept us in. 
You know, you know, an interesting story behind that was that uh, Walt was injured before that game, and, he, and, and it was a game time decision whether he was going to start or not next yeah. 17 state championship game. If he had to start, do you know who was going to start that game? Seventh grader Nelson Hodges was going to start oh, that game. Oh, wow. Can I, you believe that? Can you believe I that? I guess I don't remember that, or maybe I um, – I could be making that been That would have been tough. <laughs> that would have been, uh, you know – Well, Nelson That was, was seventh guy. grade Nelson, not, uh, yeah, not senior Nelson. But he was still a big guy, and he's a phenomenal athlete. He was. And, uh, That's a big ass to put a seventh grader in yes. goal in a, in a high school game. Yes. But that was the decision that Coach Simone faced in his, yeah. his first year. And uh, thank goodness he was able to start Walt. And yeah. He was healthy for that game. Nothing against Nelson. Here comes Delta Street offensively, and the ball is going to be taken away by Shackelford. Oh, the ball's, oh. ball's loose. Hernandez with the ball. Seems like the ball's been on this side of the field most of the second half. Without Vargas, it's just not much that Delta Streets can do offensively. As the ball's taken away. A little too much. We, need, we, we need to get back to moving the ball around a little more. Yeah. Uh, yeah Hernandez was doing a lot of dipsy do there. He's trying to make some nice moves, look good, but uh, we got to get back to moving the ball around. That, that's right. We, even though we're, we're in command and, and this game is, is pretty much put to bed, we still need to be playing uh, the way yeah. that we always play. Um, well, and, Wilson and Harvey are both out. Uh, a couple of subs in there for Pill Academy. But uh, you're right. You're right. Got to work on the plays, on the fundamentals. You never know who you need down the road. Nice play by Shackelford. That's right. Over to Simone. Simone to the outside. Over to Hunter Berry. Tries to take a shot. It goes off the defender for Delta Streets. Big battle between Shackelford and number 22 for Delta Streets. Nice job retaining possession there. Delta Streets with the offensive foray here as they go to the inside. Darren Verpadiar stops the stops the bleeding there as the ball is taken away. Good Ooh, tough a play, a little. There. Nice shaking of hands between. Yeah, the good sportsmanship there. Pillow Academy defender. Good That's hard play, but in the end of the day, you know it's. Yep. As William Brown with the free kick, I figure we got a couple minutes left in the contest as William Brown gets the ball up the field. No quit in this team yeah, as Simone tackle. gets the ball, goes down the field. Looks like somebody's cramping up for Delta Streets. And uh, the ball is going to be the outside. Yeah. There is uh, <coughs> Ruben Martinez trying to help out as the Danny Delta. Laura. Daniel. Laura. Dan Danny Laura mm -hmm. for the uh, player. You know, Kim knows all these players' names. Why isn't she doing play by play? <laughs> Why am I not doing the camera? I'm not good at play by play. <laughs> I've been lost in the game. Kim's a lot less uh, annoying, th annoying than I am doing the broadcast, man. Maybe I need to do the camera and keep up the time and all that. No, we enjoy it. We uh, we saw you over go up to the broadcast booth at the uh, the last game. That was the first time I clicked my phone on. And Were you not happy to see me up there? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. It, Tell it, my it, wife. It, Tell it, my wife. It's tough to watch a, a silent game or just a, <clears throat> a game that's got wind noise. Well, it, it's – I've been doing girls basketball and boys basketball the whole year and all that. I've got, I've got a thing going on with Bill Long, but I had to do it. I'm, I'm going to tell you the, the overriding factor was Cindy Sai has sent me over 100 text messages <laughs> blasting me because I have so done So it took soccer. 100. It took only 100. <laughs> I said, Cindy, stop. I'm yeah. doing games. <laughs> so I'll be there not tomorrow, but next Monday, I believe. Okay. Uh, I forgot who we play next Monday. Is it? Is it? I got. I had the schedule. Uh, right yeah, earlier. I would have to. I would have uh, to. Look. Yes, Monday is at Bio. Uh, I got to go to Cleveland. Thursday is senior night with Delta Streets next week. Ball goes in the box. A little collision there with uh, Hunter Berry and uh, the goalie, but it's going to be Delta Streets' position possession. And I think that might be the season there, the regular season there. I think those are the last couple of games after the Heritage game tomorrow. Yeah, it should it should be. So, Pillow is in prime position to win this division, be the number one seed going from the north going into the MAIS playoffs. The way it works is you have a quarterfinal game at home. If you win that game and you're number one, you get the semifinal game at home. And the finals are going to be played at a, an academy in Jackson on artificial turf. And As that's, that's your ball game, Pillow Academy with an, a tremendously impressive – 5 nothing victory here on the campus of Mississippi Valley State. Tremendous respect from the players at Pillow to Delta Streets and vice versa. 
Pillar County wins 5 nothing. Two goals by Lawson Harvey, two goals by Seraph and Simone, and one goal that I missed by Wells Wilson. Pillow, I think, now is 14-4 and four on the season, is the top-ranked team in the North right now, standings-wise. Jason, any, any final observations on what you observed today or just in general? Yeah, I thought we looked good. A um, little sloppy there towards the end, but you, you, you've got some uh, – some replacement players coming in, and then, you know, you've got some guys maybe just wanting to get on the scoreboard or uh, yeah. uh, maybe try a trick that uh, uh, they wouldn't normally do during a, a competitive game. Uh, but I thought back line looked solid. Uh, I never saw Mize have to make a, a save. Uh, yeah. He had, had one that he scrambled down here for, but uh, the back line did a really nice job of preventing him from having to do his job. Yeah. Um, so good midfield look 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 good, and uh, thought we played a pretty good game overall. Delta Streets will probably play uh, stronger against us on our field because the field will be in better shape, and Vargas will be at full force. And Vargas on a good field is a is a yeah. force to be reckoned with. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. Absolutely. But, uh, and this it may have been a bit of an experiment in the in the first half to play him uh, at that left back spot. I just um, yeah. I just don't think that's where you put your most dynamic player. You you, you want the ball at his feet, so Excellent. Uh, get him in the midfield or get him on the attack. Uh, well, say hi to Logan. Say hi to Lillian for us. We're so proud of Lillian and what she did over at Holmes this year. And uh, sure will. And uh, look, man, hey, join me for every broadcast. If you yeah, can. I'd love well, to. If we have two, we didn't have especially two if it's warm. Time. When it, it, it ain't going to be warm anytime <laughs> soon. It ain't going to be warm anytime soon. So, uh, but I'd, I'd love to have you join me up here and uh, yeah, love let's, to. let's make a nice playoff run here. Okay. Enjoyed it. Sure. Thanks, buddy. All righty. Thank and you, Shrek. And on Shresh. behalf of Pill Academy, we're going to call it a night. Thank you.